Well, good evening, gang, and welcome to It's All About Arts. My name is Glenn Williams, and I'm your host. Happy New Year. You know, it seems like weeks. We haven't been here for a while because of snow, because of this, because of that. But we're back, and we're flying, and we're very, very happy, and we're here live, coming to you live from Studio B here at our great BNN studios. And you're more than welcome to join us. Please give us a call if you'd like at 617-708-3290. Davey and the great staff of BNN are in the other room answering the phones. So if you'd like to give, join us, please do. Very, very special show tonight uh, for, for a couple of reasons. Well, first of all, first of all, uh, the, uh, uh, Suzanne Schultz is out on location. You know, she is so busy. She's doing so many things that, uh, that I miss her here every now and then. But she's getting a show together over at Moser, which is opening on Thursday. So she's got to take care of, of our artist friends. So she's out there taking care of that. Now, two things about this, this show that's very, very exciting. This is the beginning of year 15 for us here at BNN, and uh, I am just thrilled and excited about it. Uh, and what was going to be the last show of the year got, got, got canceled out because of weather, but now the first show of the year and the first, year, first show of this new, this new, uh, new BNN life here is, uh, is going to be featured with, with none other than the, than the great Bird Mancini. They're right here in the studio. Places of Buzz. We're very, very excited about having them here. Not only are they, are they, are they two of, of the greatest musicians I know, but they're also very close friends of mine, too. So it's really great to have them here. I'm very, very excited about it. But, um, but to reflect, 15 years is, 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 I remember when we sat in a little closet in the first floor of the transportation building in downtown Boston in Park Square. And literally, there was a hole in the wall with this camera stuck through it. There was a phone here to answer, and someone kind of waved at you through the window, and off you went with your live show without any, without any thrills and whistles or bells. No bells, definitely no bells. But Rube's got bells with her tonight. So there they are. OK, great. Uh, but there was, it was just bare bones. Here it comes. And, um, and tonight we're, we're here, there's, there's a whole staff of great interns that are starting this, this very uh, first time. This is their first show with us at BNN. I'm so proud to have them here. I want to talk a couple of seconds about BNN. Uh, BNN TV is a, one of, is a great organization that's been here for many, many years. And one of the things that, that they do is they, uh, they supply public access to people uh, who have nonprofits, uh, organizations. That's what this channel is, Channel 9. And if you have a nonprofit out there and you want to get involved here and you want to get your message out and you want people to, to know more about you, uh, I would suggest you go to bnntv.org and get in touch with, uh, with, with Jim Atwood. Jim Atwood's the guy uh, who could walk you through anything that needs to be done here. This is an enormous opportunity for nonprofits around the city to be able to talk about what their mission is, to make sure that people understand what their programming is and what they're offering the, the citizens of this fine city. And I think that it's, a, it's, a, it's, I can't think of a better way to, here I am sitting here talking to you about it. And, and you can do that too, bnntv.org. And uh, there's openings in the schedule. There's opportunities for you to come here. That's part, of the, part of, the, of, of, the, of the magic here. The other side of the magic is becoming a member for next to nothing. You become a member here. And what you do is you, you're, you're able to take classes and learn how to do uh, uh, learn how to use these high definition digital cameras that we we have here at the studio learn how to produce your own program Pro you learn how to use the the the, the intricate uh, software that Final Cut Pro that learn how to edit your own material take cameras out of here to your location to film something and all for 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 a membership fee that is um, that is quite nominal. And uh, uh, it's great to be exposed to, I mean, did you ever think maybe, hey, this guy's not doing it right, I could do it better? Well, here's your opportunity, bnntv.org. Get over here and, uh, and, and join us, because I, I'm telling you right now, 2011 is going to be the year that, that, uh, that we talk about for many years to come. So it's a, it's a great opportunity. Speaking of nonprofits, I, I, I have to talk a little bit about the great uh, supporter who keep the people that keep us on the air here. We're very, very proud of our affiliation with uh, the Boston Main Streets program. Boston Main Streets is an organization that helps redevelop. See, they can't wait. They can't wait. It's like a caged tiger back there. We've got to die and let, let loose. <laughs> um, 
uh, what it is is what they do is they help redevelop business districts. Um, so like if you have a business district, let's say Chinatown, let's say uh, Downtown Crossing, let's say there's one in East Boston, one in, the one I work with is in Rosendale. Let's talk about High Park. There's 19 of them around the city and what they help do is they help with a specific business district in the area, they help them redevelop it, help them get the kind of publicity that they need. Uh, it's broken down into three, four, three different aspects of the organization. One is economic restructuring. Uh, think about it. You own, there's, a, there's a property owner who has an empty storefront down front. He doesn't quite know what the demographic makeup of the area is. He's not sure. He wants to put a successful business down there, and he's not quite sure of what the community needs, what has to happen in that community to make, to make this business that he wants to put down there successful. They do all of that demographic work. They meet with the property owner. They let him know that, you know, here's what hasn't worked here in the past. Here's what we're missing. Here's what people are spending their money outside of this community on. Maybe it would be nice to get that kind of a shop here in your storefront. That's one of them. The other one is, a, uh, is, is the design committee. Now, the design committee was, was one, is a big, big aspect of, of the Main Streets program. What they do is they help the new business owner that is now into that new pro the property owner's storefront help them get the correct signage, help them get through that whole permitting thing, help them design the front of their store so that they, their people will want to come in and spend their money. Uh, that's a big deal. And uh, what they did at the beginning, and I'm sure that it's still available in some of the communities, is the volunteers on the design committee are all architects, designers, graphic designers, uh, people who, who are professionals, people who do it for a living, design signs, design this, design that. So it's a big deal for them. And one of the things that they had was it, that they would, they would help with a stipend. They would ha pay for half of the manufacturing and installation of a brand new sign. There was a hook. The hook was you had to take the grates down. I know that's difficult for a property owner to do because you've invested your whole life in this business and, and you want to protect it. You want to make sure that it stays safe and that, and that, that somebody's not going to come along and, and, and do something that'll, that'll damage your opportunity in the community to, 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 to become better. Um, and it's a difficult decision to make. I'll give you an example. Back in Rosendale, back in 84, 85, Rosie Square was not someplace you would go. When the lights went on, you abandoned it. it was a, there was danger there. The, all the storefronts had grates. Half of them were empty. It wasn't as if there was, a, a, it wasn't some place you'd go and, 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 and spend your money or spend any of your time, meet friends, do things, go here, there, or whatever. You wouldn't do it. A good friend of mine, Greg Lehem, likes to say he owns the pharmacy down there. There was more drugs on the street than there were in his, in his pharmacy. It was a dangerous area. Main Streets came along. The great mayor of the city of Boston was city councilor at the time, and he brought Main Streets to an urban setting and started it in Rosendale because Rosendale really needed the help. And that whole thing about taking the grates down was very, very difficult for people to do. But finally, one, two people decided, okay, sure, I need a new sign. Let's see how it goes. And lo and behold, no one broke into their, their business. So what happened with two turned into six, nine, 15. Now, I think there's only two greats left in Rosendale Square. Think about that, uh, that kind of a turnover. And if, I'd had to, if someone had told me 15 years ago that people were standing in line on a Thursday night to get into a restaurant in Rosendale Square, I'd have told them they were out of their minds. Well, it's not just one restaurant, it's three restaurants that they're trying. They're waiting in line down in Rosendale Village to, to, to sit down and have dinner. It's a, it's a great organization. It does great things for the community. The other, the other part of the aspect of it that I get involved with that I'm very proud of is the Promotions Committee. The promotions Committee is, they, they don't only just put ads in the paper or put, hang posters and stuff, they also run events. So they'll have the farmers markets, for instance, around the city. A lot of them are run by the Main Streets program. The Taste of Jamaica Plain, the Taste of Rosendale, uh, different kinds of tree lightings, uh, different storefront, different ribbon cuttings for the stores, different events that they, they throw. Uh, and what that does is it brings people down into Rosendale Square or into Cleary Square or into Chinatown or, or, or wherever, Hyde Square. It brings people into that community. So to come to the event and they, get, they go, well, I didn't realize that there were, there was, this new restaurant is here. I didn't know there were five bakeries here. I didn't realize there was all these things were happening. And so that's been very, very successful. 
the farmer's market in Rosendale Square is averaging 3,000 people a Saturday. Talk about it. And they're not just, the people walking from their homes, the people driving from other communities, it's, it's just phenomenal. So the work that they do for the community and the things that they do for us here is just over the top. So I want to thank them very, very much for all the work that they do. And I also want to say that if you see an event going on in your community and there's some people with Main Street t-shirts, go over and you know, say, hey, thanks. Because they're volunteers. They're doing it because they love their community just like you do. They're doing it because they want to raise their families in a community that they can be proud of just like you do. And, uh, and, and they're, they're donating their time. A lot of them are very professional people, like the design community. All those cats are big dudes. They really, really are the, the cats that do all the big designing. They design all kinds of great things. So thank you, Main Street. Just wanted to get a word, get with that. So anyways, reflections for a couple of seconds. I, you know, the 15, the 15 years now, starting, that, that we've been sitting here. I remember the first show that we did uh, my, uh, at the time, little tiny, the fabulous Rebecca was sitting next to me, a little tiny girl sitting here, and we were sitting here scared to death. Not here, but in that closet. And uh, I dug that tape out uh, not too long ago and was looking at it, and we're having it put together so we can show it to you here in, in digital life. It, it's fun to look back on, but the number of people and the people we've had on the program, uh, we've, been, we've been so blessed. Um, I think it's 500 guests more in counting. And so I, I can't tell you how proud I am of, of super producer Janice Williams, the work that she's done, uh, keeping the guest lists straight, making sure people know about us. Uh, Mr. Kurt brings our entertainment, brings people who are, who are fabulous entertainers, uh, musicians to, to the stage here so that, so that we can share them with you. Julie Flynn is up in the north floor. She's not sure. She's sending people down from Lowell. She's sending, so it's not just Boston-based artists and musicians you're meeting. You're meeting people from all over New England. And, and, and it's really been a, a super drive, super ride, and, and I am extremely proud of it. That all being said, I'm not going to waste any more time uh, blabbing away here. I have great friends. Look at this CD. Weeks in the making. <laughs> this is a great new CD. And Bird Mancini, uh, this is over the top. This is a great tuning in, tuning out CD is, is fabulous. And they have their CD release party. Can we zoom in on this a little bit? Where am I? Right here. There you go. And it's going to be at the Magic Room, and it is January 29th. And it's going to be like a circus type of uh, of a night. We're going to talk to them a little bit about it. But the Magic Room is 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 over in Austin, right? Yes. No, it's over in Brighton. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that, guys. Uh, 155 North Beacon Street. So we're going to talk a little bit about that with with Ruby and Billy in just a couple of minutes. You know what we're going to do? Is we're going to take a break. Because you've heard enough of me, almost 15 years of me gabbing away up here, but I do. Well, these cats have been on the show before in different various, you know, uh, uh, combinations and groups. But this new CD needs, needs full attention from us tonight. So listen, gang, we're going to take a short break. My name is Glenn Williams. You're watching BNN TV on Channel 9. And if our, our guys out there in RCN, we're on Channel 15. Hello, guys. Oh, glad to see you. And streaming. I know that we have friends that we're streaming to BNNTV.org live out there. Welcome, because we have a big show tonight, and we're very, very happy. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes, gang, with Bird Mancini. Don't go away. We'll be right back.
society. I lost my soul.
All right. Hello. I know. I, I think I, heard, I did hear from a guy today who I think is from Yugoslavia, and he's tuning in right now. Yeah, yeah. Yes. What time is it in Yugoslavia? <laughs> Here's one called uh, I Want My Own Brian Epstein. Let me just do it. If you know about it, you know. We'll talk about it later. Yeah. I want my own Brian Epstein. Someone who will keep me in line. Like the tracks on the B&M line. To get me to my home. I want my own Brian Epstein, someone to look after me, someone who will be there for me whenever I'm alone. When the alarm clock rings, I will roll back to my slumber. When the telephone rings, I will leave it for another time to catch the midtown, but I don't recall the number. Time to read an old friend. What's her name? Did I once love? Lately, I feel so. But someone would steal my reefer Find a girl to marry But I probably couldn't keep her I want my own Brian Epstein Someone who will keep me in line Like the tracks on the b line To get me to my home I want my own Brian Epstein Someone to look after me Someone who will be there for me Whenever I'm alone Hi guys, how are we doing? Great. Thank you so much for coming yeah, in. Thank you for having me. Well, I had to, we had to change the schedule a little bit on you because because of old man Winter yeah. joined us and, and man. old well, man. We were yes. busy shoveling yes. too, too we, the snow. We had plenty to so. do, I'm sure. <laughs> um, Ruby Bird. Yes. 
Uh, thank you for being here, Ruby. Um, you, you, you're you're, you're uh, multi-talented. You, you play several instruments, not only percussion, uh, oh, so but you. but this, <laughs> this is about you, <laughs> and uh, and in the squeeze box also. But um, I want to talk and make sure that people understand that you guys are also very very talented songwriters. You guys do a lot of the, a lot of the writing of the material. Is it all the material that you well, do? Well, yeah, most of our CDs are all original. Bill, Billy writes more than I do, actually. He's, he's got a backlog that you wouldn't believe of songs, and, and then he continually writes new ones. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a real challenge for me to keep up with that. But <laughs> I do write a few. Yes, you do. Uh, when you, your songs, when you write them, you write them. This next one that we're going to do. Yes, it's yeah, a great this song. This next one's, one's, one's mine. Bill, let's, let's talk about the production of this CD. Um, uh, you have a, a, a fabulous room to work in uh, called Second Story. Second Story Studios. Second Story Studios. It's right in Rosendale. We're very proud to have that as part of our community. Uh, talk about the production of, of this CD that, that I'm sure people are going to be driving themselves to iTunes and Rhapsody and everywhere, right? It should be running right now. Mm. Um, well, uh, the CD, we brought in a lot of different um, people to play on it. It's not just the two of us. It, it's sort of presented as, as a band, but we brought in different drummers. Uh, we even brought Mr. Mr. Williams here in on the, a tune. A track, yes, uh, you did. And, um, One of my pro it's on my resume now. Different, lots of different drummers and bass players. I even played bass on a couple tunes, but and I, I produced it all, and it took me for a lo forever. And uh, I'm we glad had, it's out of my cellar. Mm. We had a lot of interesting special instruments too, like um, and we had Cliff Tettle playing clarinet. Nice, on one yep, track, and yep. It was just a phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, solo that he did. And, and I was joking about you. You guys put it together. It, it, we, I mean, this this kind of a production is is painstakingly painful painful <laughs> no it is i mean it's a lot a lot of work um how long give us give our friends in being in land an idea of what the timetable was oh, it took a couple of years yeah. really to to um to, to get it to where i, I was going to let it go mm -hmm. you know once you let it go it's gone it's out there and you still think oh, i could have done this differently but right. it's right. you know gotta let it go sometime but it took a couple of years right right um, Ruby, you guys are gigging quite a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, that's great. You, um, got anything special coming up or oh, any place well, that you I'd might like want to talk, talk about, about this? This, um, this is I real. Mean, you you, you, you um, were kind enough to show the, the flyer for it. Um, this is a really special show for us because not only is it, is it a CD release party for us, but we're playing with two excellent bands we're very excited to be playing with. Um, Sal Baglio's new band called the Beauty and Disturbance Orchestra. It's got some great They're talent in that. Fantastic, fantastic. And the Inga Berge band, who is uh, from, Inga's from, it's um, from, uh, from Rockport. Rockport. Yeah, and they, yeah. They, he plays on the North Shore, but mm -hmm. also in Boston. Right. Very, very good band. Right. And we're just very excited. And we're also going to have some real interesting surprises. Some surprises like, for that night. Yeah, there's yeah. Gonna, some things coming up. We'll. <laughs> It's yeah, called yeah. A Cirque de Musicale, is yes. the name of it. So Give you an idea. Like yeah, any belly dancers that would like to come and dance at this, we're looking for them, so call I can, yes. I can. No, you not don't. You. Not me, not we, me. We have <laughs> certain restrictions on the belly dancers. Okay. We have a line on a juggler. Yes, we do. We have yeah. po poet Johnny Reimer is going to appear oh, Another also, great artist in the city, great. yeah. And also... Um, Ringmaster of the whole, the master of ceremonies is going to be T Max. Yes, the publisher and, he, and founder of, of the Noise, of the, noise, the great yeah. historic noise here, so, which is a magazine in the city that that covers um, all all of our friends, rock rock musicians for years now. He's mm -hmm. been covering them for years, and it's a great. He's going to be fun. He's going to be a lot of fun. And he's going to sing with us too. Is he really? Yes. Oh, fab. <laughs> um, Bill, this isn't the only way you present you guys, right? You guys no, sometimes, and in fact, the night that night we play as a full band with a drummer and a Larry bass Harvey, player, Larry Harvey, the great and John Larry Bridge Harvey, on bass, yeah, and yeah. A, I have a and whammy bar on an electric guitar. John Bridge on bass. You're bringing a real electric guitar. You're yeah. breaking out the the real electric. I am. I love to I love to um, turn up, and I just love it. But <laughs> but I also like this. But I, but it's a lot of fun to just turn up and just hear that whack. Yeah. Drum oh yeah. Right. Oh yeah. Well, that's, it's going to be at the Magic Room Gallery, which is at 155 North Beacon Street in Brighton. 
And that's Saturday, uh, January 29th. And uh, is this your first show of the year? The, no, this is the first show. <laughs> that's and right. It will be the first. <laughs> Where have I? No, it'll be the second show, right, Ruben? Yeah. It'll be the yes, second, the show. second yeah. show. Well, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm going to let a secret. You guys have been married for almost as long as I have, haven't you? <laughs> Are you going to tell 30, them? 30 years. You've been married longer than 30 I have. Years. <laughs> I know. Well, that, that, that's, <laughs> that's great. I've Isn't it, Bill? I've been trained for 30 years, <laughs> yes. Well, no, I think, I think it's interesting for people to know. That you, you are the uh, Stephen Eady of our generation. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's just... <laughs> I'll use that on the Have you ever been called that before? Page. Glenn <laughs> Williams said, the, the Stephen song, Eady yeah. of our generation. I, I like, no, does anyone know out there Stephen Eady? No, I think, probably, probably not in this room, no, but uh, you and I do know. Hey, do you mind if I join you in the next oh, one? Did you bring please. your ukulele? I did happen oh. to bring my ukulele with me. Look oh, at it. Oh, this is great. It's right here, and it's great. all tuned up. This is, you know, this is a perfect song for ukulele, Glenn, and I'm so glad you could be on this cut. This is, uh, it's on the Tuning In, Tuning Out CD, for those of you who don't know. And well, I want, I want to tell you when you, when, you, when, you, when you guys asked me and, and Bill sent over the, the the, the track for me to work on. I fell in love with the song right away, of course. And, and, uh, and uh, uh, it's, been a pl it's an honor to be uh, mentioned and to have a thing or two in there at the same time is even cooler, so. Let's do it. Okay. A one, two, one, two. A few seconds ago, that sky was red. Now the dark is setting in. Oh, good my strong. Sweet bird song. It fills the sky, and then a yellow feather fly. Oh, it didn't last long. A few months ago, the market was high. Now it's on an endless slide. Oh, it didn't last long, did it? Now dollar, euro, yen, and pound make the world go round and round. Said that war wouldn't last long. Oh, but that was wrong. Summer comes and goes, oh, didn't last long, did it? Your baby child is sweet as can be. Turn around, he's 23. Oh, didn't last long. Once upon a time, you were gleaming your daddy's eye. Now the dark is setting in. Oh, didn't last long, didn't last long, didn't last long, did it? Awesome, Glenn. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's well, one of Miss Ruby's tunes. That is a Ruby tune, and it's a, be it's a great tune. It's, uh, and that's the, that's the song that has the clarinet player on it, right? Yes, it is. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, 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 an, it's a reason to get. All the other songs are. But, uh, but this, was, this was, first of all, this was a lot of fun being here. Uh, I, I want to I turn it back over to you guys. You have three or four songs to go, and, uh, and thank you once again for launching our 15th season. Thank you. I may Glenn. come up at the end and, and we'll say goodbye together. Okay, is that all right with you guys? Sure. Okay, uh, ladies, sit back. We're going to turn them on to you now for, for, for a good, good few minutes. Uh, uh, the great, from Rosendale, Massachusetts, the great Bird Mancini. Oh, by the way, I'm just going to say this. Uh, this song is called Because It's December. I realize December is gone, but we were supposed to play it last week. <laughs> anyway, it's on CD. <laughs> A winter day The sky is standing still The snow is gray I think I need a pill I'm sliding down the hill I'll climb back to the top Because it's December I see a crooked smile Because it's December The Savior is a child 
child Because it's December The sun is cold as ice And now I remember The headlights burning bright I think I'll stay like hibernating bears inside a cave and dream away despair. Na, 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 na. The children's cheery smiles na, 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 na. keep me for a while. Na, 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 Savior is a child because it's December. The sun is cold as ice, and now I remember the headlights burning bright. The sky is standing still. I think I need a pill na, 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 na. But memories we share na, 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 na. But wash away despair That's the accordion breathing. It's alive. All right. So this next one is, uh, is one also on the, on the tuning in, tuning out CD. It's the second cut. Um, Billy wrote it. It's called Green Walls, Memories from His Childhood. Don't want to live here I don't want to stay And why did you bring me here To the house on the hill Wanna go back home Where the steps are wide And my secret place win And the ceilings are The smiling lines when we knew just who we were A faded yellow dream of mine is all that I am now Wrap me up inside the green walls Let me near your never-ending love I'm 
gonna walk out now Through the rain and the cold Cause anything's better Than the things I don't know There's too many people And I don't know their names Coming at me with pitchforks Like the devil's own pain The smiling lines when we knew just who we were. A faded yellow dream of mine is all that I am now. Wrap me up inside the green walls. Let me near your never ending love. Lock me up inside the green walls. Ready to do one, Miss Ruby? Take a little drink first. Oh, well, uh, this next one's called Bridge 51, uh, which I wrote after going over a bridge. Do we have time for this, Mr. Williams? Um, yeah, we it were. was Bridge 51. Burl I was Burlington. 51. We live at 51. It was a special yeah. year. I forgot to play it on the lottery oh. that year. Yeah. Here, this bridge is very close to uh, Burlington, Vermont. By the way, for all you Burlington people out there, hello. Okay. I'm writing just for the sake of today. I've seen some trouble along the way Some people give up the journey too soon All roots can make a new flower bloom On bridge 51 it is a long way to fall On bridge 51 I'll steer away from the siren's call So glad I got you to show me the way Without you, 
I'd probably lose my way New highways will always be where we belong It's wide open just like we're 21 On Bridge 51 it is a long way to fall On Bridge 51 I'll stay away from the siren's call Bridge 51 I can't see further than where we've gone Bridge 51 I'm rolling over the horizon I want to thank, thank you. you. Listen, we, we got a phone call from an Eric in Lowell who had a question. Yes. And Eric was, was listening, and he said that your music is so diverse. It's so eclectic. It's, there's different kinds of, of styles and stuff coming, coming, coming out of you guys. Do you do that on purpose? Uh, is it something that you try to do? He's a young songwriter, and he, and he wants to know, is that something you purposely, do you say, I have to not write a song like Bridge 51. I have to write one that's That's different. a great question, but um, we decided quite a while ago that we would just um, do whatever it is we want to do, because if, we if we're happy about it, then that's, in the end, that's what has to happen. We have to be happy about the music, but yeah. we don't try to write things anymore. We're through with that. <laughs> yeah, we, we don't try to fit into a mold because, well, you know, our, our heroes are groups like the Beatles who yep. can do anything they want and, right. and, and, and uh, you know, what's wrong with being diverse? I mean, well, no, there's, not, there's nothing wrong that, with that, but you know, I, think, I think where he was going was that he, he was saying that, that part of he, some of the songs that he writes seems to sound the same. Yeah. You oh, know, and, and yeah. He, uh, he was commenting on how diverse well, and you, different Well, thank you, Eric. I, I'm songs. glad you noticed that. Thank you, Eric from Lowell. That's yes, right. from Lowell. <laughs> He must we, be a streaming guy. That must be. That's, he's streaming. He's right a streaming now. dude. Awesome. Thank, just, thank you, you know, for joining us, by the way, Eric. I appreciate that. Yeah, we, we just do what we like, and mm -hmm. uh, we like a lot of different things. And we've got two different writers too. Yeah, and, that know, helps. We have very different perspectives on things. So. And, and another thing that, that I, I wanted to touch base with is, is that you, you guys surround yourselves with, with phenomenal musicians. We do. You really do. We I do. mean, you've got Mr. Kurt is 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 an influence to us all in many ways. He is. Every time you hear it on the CD, if you hear something go, <laughs> that is that's Mr. Curry. <laughs> <laughs> no, but really, I mean, well, well, there, right there, there's an example right there. He, there's, there's a certain kind of sound, and there's, you know, things that people do contribute to different things. I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a great atmosphere to surround yourselves in. We uh, learned a lot from playing with the Urban Caravan for mm. a while. You know, that was you right. and I Key, helped out Key a little. Max yep. and, and Steve. Kurt. And, Steve and Gillian John. Kurt, John. Steve Gillian, John. John Clara. Clara, Clara, Clara was who was on the show here not too long ago. It was phenomenal. Yeah. Blew us all I away. Know it. She, she is, and she also plays with Sal Baglio's yep. Beauty and Disturbance Orchestra. Right. Who's gonna, she's going to be on the There's also John Macy from Fox Pass and Steve yeah. Gillian, who's with Fox Pass and used to be with the, the great Stompers. It's amazing. Right. Yeah, that was yeah. a lot of fun. And T Max was always, you know, doing, doing some of his, uh, you know, why, why do we go to war type songs, yep. And, yep. but also coming up with really interesting uh, arrangements of old Beatles songs right. that were. <laughs> Very unique. Well, I think we all came up with, with different, you know, let's, let's talk about a little did. bit about that low budget records whole thing yeah. where, mm -hmm. uh, where you talk about how many friends, how many people were on that CD? Don't know. 19 know. or 19 or 20 people? Yeah, well, the compilation that we did. Well, there were 19 cuts. 19 cuts. So there's much, many more musicians than, the, than that. Yeah, so we have to give credit to Tim Casey. Absolutely, the grand putting all of that together. I mean, he's one of our... our most you know impressive uh friends uh, as far as talent goes i mean yeah. talk about talent this yeah. guy he does everything he, i've been so fortunate to have been working with him for as long as i have you know i mean like the first uh, my first delve into recording and stuff was with him 
And, and his, he was just learning and cutting his teeth on a quarter track like everybody else did 30 years ago, you know. And, uh, and now he's got this studio that just turns out like this kind of Oh, I have to mention Theo Hopkins and Andy Hollinger. Right, who we played right. With Are we missing anybody, Mr. Ago. Kurt? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. On the van, I think that, that uh, Marty White. Yeah. Marty White was on that, too. I mean, it was great. It was a great experience. Yeah. So it's, well, all, it's, all different, it's all different Beatles songs for people who don't know, done by sort of mostly local. Mostly Rossi, local. A lot, lot, lot of Rosie Cats. Yeah, you can find it at the Low Budget Records. Yeah, you can website. also find it on, on iTunes. Yep, iTunes. If you put Low Budget Records in or if you put in Across Their Universe. Across Their Universe. Across We're their absolutely universe. giving them credit. <laughs> <laughs> it's Across <laughs> Their Universe. Which was, guys, thank you. I can't tell you how much of a pleasure and an honor it is to have you guys in here. And I got real worried about, about you guys missing last week, so I, I did my thing. And Thank you, you pulled very strings. Much. I Thank did you. some things. That's but great. I just pulled many strings. That's great. Uh, Thank you very much, Billy. Thank you, Rube. Thank you very much. Listen, gang, thanks an awful lot for being here tonight. It's been a great show. It's a great send off to the 2011 season, which we're very, very excited about 15 years. Uh, get out there and do something artful for yourself this week, please. Get out there and, and catch a museum, uh, catch some live music.